is love. Here's an attempt at attacking the unconquerable, chasing the sun in hopes that I shall grab it and hold it in my hand while bringing the ocean waves to a halt. Thank you for the anonymous question. I must say this was an extremely difficult topic to navigate, but as with all things, I shall faithfully do my best. Is love an emotion or a feeling? I think first we need to identify what an emotion is. Defined, a natural, instinctive state of mind deriving from one's circumstance, mood, or relationship with others. The five core emotions are joy, fear, sadness, disgust, and anger. With multiple charts intermingling disgust and shame with also joy and happiness. As well as some other ones saying that there's a sixth emotion in surprise. Now as it pertains to feelings, defined a reaction or belief specifically vague in nature. The core five feelings are, well, there are none. Uh, actually what ends up happening is whenever you put in five core feelings, the information that comes back are the five core emotions. So the differences in emotions and feelings. Emotions are associated with bodily reactions that are activated from inside of us via neo, neuro, uh, neurotransmitters and hormones released by the brain, while feelings are the conscious experience of emotional reactions. Okay, so now in English, please. To me, emotions are the things we put in motion. They are the outward representation of what's going on inside of us, in motion, emotion. Feelings are feel in, our representation or description of how an outside stimulant enters us and affects us. Again, emotion, in motion, feeling, feel in. So where does that leave us with love? My surface level definition of love is sacrifice, but we aren't here for surface level. And this is about putting the motive. So here it is at its core. Love is both and either or with neither none. It is in motion as it sits still. The most constant, relatively definitive defining value is that when it is true, it continues. It's not just an emotion or a feeling, but both, either, or none. It is the true essence of relationships, seen and unseen, known and unknown. We see things and determine their relation, a concept derived from the limitations placed upon ourselves via our experience. The relation is there before the thing. Love is relation. It is the tie and bond that connects through each, all, and every emotion, feeling, circumstance, and situation. Love is the energy exchanged and tied together, not through a series of words or actions. Energy. The same way no woman can articulate the experience of childbirth, the original love of our culture, species, and being is the same way that childbirth, an act older than us, known to us before we even knew who we were, and any attempt to pass what that truly means, what that truly is, on to someone else via words, descriptors, metaphors, etc., it diminishes it. Only a woman who has been part of the act can know. The decision to love, to really love, knows no end. And in a world culture time where there seems to be more ends than willingness to bend, our definition of love as a group is misidentified, brought up under false pretenses, and depressingly misunderstood. So here it is. Love is an energy that can encompass any, all, and or none of the perceivable perceptions we have come to realize throughout our lives, as it is undoubtedly neither none or both, while none and both, it remains constant throughout time. The, the root, 
trunk and leaf that will all be identified as parts of a tree. Any attempt to bottle it, any attempt to contain it within symbols, letters, ideas, and concepts really just look like a child swinging ecstatically, swinging a branch yelling, I've got a tree. A song is not just a series of notes. The warmth of the sun is not just the warmth of the sun. It is life. It is all. It is <laughs> what it is. The greatest human sin is taking diminished interpretations of another's viewpoint as reality in lieu of what it really is. A bridge. The bridge. A path that leads to the experience of imagination within you whose limits are an unknowingly powerful none. What is love? Love is energy. What is energy? I'll leave that one for you. Put the motive in motivation. www.motiveandmotivation.com Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.